before F1 2021 was released, we made a video about all the tracks we wanted in the game that were well liked among you. Now a couple of months after release, it is time to take a look and see some of the gems we got this year. We asked you for your favorite tracks in F1 2021 and here are your top 5 answers. Did your pick make it? Let's start with our number 5, the Autodromo Hermanos Rodriguez, which is currently home to the Mexican GP. While not even being in your suggested list, you guys really vouched for the circuit, and we heard you. High speeds, long sweeping corners, and mariachi music. Okay, maybe not the last thing, but this circuit is special. If you are looking for an exciting race, this is the place to go. One highlight of the circuit is the infield area that just looks fantastic. Toward the end of the lap, you drive a very slow and precise few corners that tie into a finishing straight. In particular, the last corner has caught out many skilled drivers, as the left side of the barricade seems further away than it actually is. If not taken carefully, you can easily pick up some front wing damage and your race is no mas. But it is easy to see why you guys love the circuit. It is fun, fast and takes skill to master. Everything of importance for your F1 2021 gameplay. Everything of importance for your viewing experience can be accessed by leaving a like, subscribing and hitting the bell. This way you will never have to miss another video of ours. The reintroduction of the Dutch GP left many fans with a smile on their faces. Not only because the atmosphere and the history, but also because of the awesome track that is Zandvoort and our number 4. If you want to talk about what's different in F1, Zandvoort is a necessary part of the discussion. In many nicely shaped passages, the Dutch track behaves like no other on the calendar. No matter if it's the bank turns 3 or 13, or the tight middle of the track that requires nothing but full concentration in order to achieve maximum success. There's nothing quite like coming out of the final turn and opening the DRS. It just feels like flying, except if you're sitting in a Haas. If you want to know how to transform even that car into a rocket, go watch our video about how to get setups in F1 2021, right after you're done with this one. Understandably, this circuit did well with you, the voters. If something is as fun and different to drive as Zanford is, it is only natural that it should be on our list. Our number three is introduced with both a happy and a sad face. As F1 fans know, this year's GP of Japan at Suzuka has been cancelled due to the global pandemic. This, however, does not stop Orla off of the circuit. Who remembers the legendary fights Suzuka has produced, pushing the drivers to new heights unknown before? Look, I'm not saying there wasn't chaos, but that is exactly what makes it so fun. Over the 18 corners of the Japanese track, you have everything you could dream of. High speed sweeping corners that suck if driven on controller, low speed hairpins, and carousel-like vibes at the spoon curve. If you are not on your mark here immediately, you are in for a bad time. Better racers really excel at this track. This is one of the only circuits worldwide which has a figure of eight layout. That means it runs both clockwise and anti-clockwise, making it mentally challenging as well. If you don't persevere, you will fall behind the competition, only topped by the creme de la creme. Coming in hot at number two is, is the birthplace of F1, Silverstone. There is nothing that hasn't been said about this amazing circuit and its rich history. I mean, who else feels like over 70 years of formula history is just oozing out of every turn of this classic venue? High-speed corners like Maggots and Beckets, precise sections such as the loop, and full sense at cops make or break the heart of many racing fans. If you can't find something you enjoy at Silverstone, you just haven't raced enough laps around here. With the downforce level high at Silverstone, you also have to pack some courage. Some of the corners are purely intuitive and can leave you second guessing if you're not brave enough. Due to 70% of the track being full throttle, a lack of bravery could easily lead to a lot of lost time in the process. Appreciated by many, loved by almost everyone, this track has it all. With many races still to come here, you should also take the opportunity to go for a spin where it all began. What can we say? Is there another track like Spa Francochamps? No, seriously, can you tell me something that this track does poorly? Yeah, right, it's hard to find. Or number one is the behemoth that is Spa. Many have come, many have succeeded. Around La Sauce and into the bus stop chicane, everything feels polished and made to be raced. 
When we say high speeds, it is usually combined with some sort of lifting at any point. Not the case at Radion and Eau Rouge. If you don't take them flat out, you will lose a substantial amount of time on the following straight that is almost impossible to regain. The rest of the lap is a combination of long left and right handers and require in-depth knowledge in order to be taken correctly. The passage flowing into Blanchiment is notorious for catching unsuspecting drivers off guard and sending them into the shadow realm. This track is made for racing. The fact that it is one of the most raced tracks worldwide and in sim racing almost says it all. If you combine that with the pinnacle of motorsports, spa Francorchamps is truly one of the best tracks in F1 2021 and or number one. F1 2021 sports a wide variety of great racing venues. All of them have their own character and style to them. With our list, we have simply narrowed them down a bit. But no matter if it's the uniqueness of Zandford or the greatness of Spa, every track has their own spice too. For more esports racing content in general, visit overtech.gg or our YouTube or other social channels. On the right, you can find our F1 controller guide. That's it from me and until next time, cheerio.